Hello, this is Ian Kilbarn, Energy Systems Engineering Technology at St. Lawrence College, Kingston, Ontario, Canada. This is a video on selecting the location for your project and for your climate data in RETScreen Expert. This video will be the front end video for many other things that you will do with RETScreen Expert. The first step is frequently to set the location of your facility and where your climate data is going to come from. So we're going to start uh, with the opening screen here of RETScreen. This version is uh, configured as the paid version. If you have the free version, you can do all these things, uh, but you can't save your file. The first thing we do is we look at the location. So I'm up here in the ribbon on the top, and I'm going to choose the tab for location. And we're going to set where it is that our project is. And so on this screen, I'm going to start by saying select climate data location. Check the icon in the top left there. Coming over here to the box on the right, I can select my facility location and my climate data location. So climate data locations are basically the nearest weather office where climate data is available um, to your project location. The project location is this uh, little brown icon. So uh, right now they're both stuck over here, um, not exactly in the same place, but almost in uh, Varennes, Quebec, where uh, Red Screen was born. So I'm going to drag these around they separated there. I'm going to zoom in a little ways here because my project is in Kingston, Ontario. What will happen as I move the project one around, which is this brown one, you can see the other one jumps to the nearest red dot. That's the nearest weather office. So if my project was up here, the nearest weather office is Kingston. And so that's where I'm going to leave it for now. Um, I can just with the scroll button on the mouse, I can just keep on zooming in to achieve whatever level of detail I want. Um, I can set my project in a very particular location, but it's still going to take the weather data, or rather the climate data, from down here. So once I've done that, I'm happy about it. I can click Paste Data and uh, move forwards that way. Um, I can also go up to this window here if I prefer and enter the name of a certain place and then it, the map will jump to that place. Now I've got uh, this window here that shows the latitude and longitude of my climate data location and of my facility location. Um, you can see that there's a slight difference here, one decimal point difference because the two are not um, exactly in the same place. Um, if I click on this, you can see there's a lot more accuracy uh, behind that number than just the one data, the, the one decimal point. And of course, if you want to, you can also, if you know the latitude and longitude of your location, um, you can simply type it in there um, as well. Down below here now, uh, Red Screen has loaded weather data, climate data for this location, degree days for heating, degree days for cooling. So. We're pretty much done with this screen now. Uh, there's more things that you can look at on there. But in terms of uh, getting to the finish line, uh, what we want to do next is go to Facility. And we can uh, advance uh, by clicking on the tab up here. Or most of these screens um, also have a hyperlink in the bottom left corner that will take you to whatever they believe is the, uh, the next place to go.